What is up, Kingsmen? Welcome back to another Napoleonic Total War 3 battle. This is another epic showdown between uh, two classic rivalries. We have Russia versus France. Now, this one is on an Austria 2 map. Uh, this map, or I say this match, is uh, the perfect example why I love NTW3. So we've had a battle before. Um, it was a rather raging fight with the Prussians and the French, and it was right over here. And, I mean, it ranged a little bit over this direction, but this time, it looks like everybody is angling for the town. It looks like we're going to have a vicious town fight here. Um, all the LOCs are in this, like, diamond-shaped city. Um, you can see Russia is marching across to get to it. You have the other two Russian armies way over here. We have uh, France, one army right here, Davu. We have uh, the Imperial Guard, probably led by Napoleon himself. Napoleon Bonaparte, old bony. And people would say, look at him, he looks so imposing. He looks like he's ready to conquer again. And then you have Udino, and then uh, Eugene. Now, like I said, they are all angling directly for this town center here, so we can expect a vicious fight here. The Imperial Guard not being in reserve, being very, very up front in personal, going in first here. Uh, there's a lot of Trilliers, um, as well as, let's say, some Polish. And then, of course, we have some of the Voltigiers. Um, I didn't see any of the... Grenadiers, maybe over here. No, I just worked really. Man, this is this is a very elite mix of troops here, and already we have some cav fighting here. Some Chevalier Lancers getting charged by some Gasaris and Dragoons of Russia, um, scaring them off. So they're gonna go away. As this is the Imperial Guard Lancers, they do not want to lose these guys. Um, so they're gonna fall back. They were scouting. Looks like Russia is becoming very dominant immediately off the bat throwing a lot of stuff out in front to try to stop the French, maybe. We have more Lancers pushing up here. Uh, Davu had some Chasseur Cheval as well as scouting, trying to see where the other Russian army is. We have some light infantry for Russia, advancing across this beautiful looking field full of flowers and grass. Something I never see in my uh, hometown, unfortunately. It's all sand. Um, a massive mud field, and for those of you who don't know, mud does affect the movement speed of armies. So, oh, we do ha possibly have a cab charge here. Um, the Chasseur Cheval and Lancers not liking these taken odds. The buildings up. And they are falling back. I'm surprised they didn't want to take this. These are Lancers, after all. Um, they're going to do well against even Dragoons here. But huge clash. Infantry going to push up here, and you can see that Russia was definitely the worst for wear in this fight. Clashing against Lancers, that huge bonus. The Chasseur Cheval did get destroyed. Um, and now they're going to try to get their light infantry out of here. I bet you these Dragoons will come back. That's just, They barely took any losses. I'm surprised they even broke. But there is a building that has been taken way back here. So they are trying to establish their four-pointer first. Still trying to... Ooh, excuse me, still trying to uh, move up here and take this town center. Um, I think France actually has a very good angle on this. Oh, we do have Lancers. They are going to get charged down by the Hussars or Gazari. Can they get out of there? They're going to run as fast as they can. Um, and I think Russia is going to chalk it up to uh, losing only one Dragoon that probably will come back. Oh, they're going to charge in as well. We got some Chevaliers. Oh, they're going to easily break these. Yeah, oh, yeah. Also, something I meant to uh, mention before. You can change... If, if the audio is glitching up on you, what you do is right here. Um, some people have been asking about it. You go from the 128 to the 256. It will fix the sound instantly. So, just just a food for thought. Have a thing. Looks like there was actually... Okay, these Chasseur Cheval. Yeah, they're probably going to roll away here. We have some horse artillery pushing up here. Another LOC has been taken in the t main town center, so France has definitely gotten it now. Russia may still have this higher part of the town. Um, they may take the slight slope here. And then the fight will rage in this area. We'll see. Russia did have some of their hussars come back. Wow. This is a very good unit. Good for them. Good for them. So Russia is uh, going to form up here. 
It looks like they are not really too keen on actually pushing up at this point in time. They probably want reinforcements first. After all, they are facing the Imperial Guard. <laughs> and the Polish. And the Polish. Very elite. Both of them are. In fact, these are... Yeah, these are some good infantry. Um, I would be very wary about taking them on, especially with the reserves. And look at this, there are Grenadiers. The Imperial Guard did bring some Grens as well, and their Lancers came back. So, you know, a good all-in-all -all, uh, outcome for them. All right, so we do have France forming up on this left side here. Looks like he's going to take this Grove. Um, I'm, I'm sure they're expecting to get attacked by the French. This building has fallen to the enemy. <laughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> uh, by the Russians, sorry, not the French. And it looks like Russia has already taken this side. Yep, we have some cavalry. Gonna charge in here. Some Chev Legiers. Um, They are gonna actually get shot, though, as they're trying to get the guys in this house. You gotta watch out. Better not cry. They're wavering, so I think they were trying to... Oh, they broke. I think they were trying to hit this uh, Russian infantry before they made it across into the town, but or into the house, but that's okay. Uh, so a lot of Russians moving up here. Oh, the guard are here as well. Good. I love the guard. Ooh, that's a beautiful shot. Okay, that was a more beautiful shot from right here. Look at the guard. I love the yellow flag with the eagle and just the red and green uniforms. And the gold. I mean, it just looks so good. They look so imposing, and you know that they're going to be dangerous. And you compare them with, like, the regular Russian army. Definitely doing better here. Um, do we have cavalry inching up here, possibly? All right, so you can see, guys, if we look at the zoomed-out helicopter view, um, <coughs> Yuzhin and Davu moving up by this side. We'll have the Imperial Guard backed by... Uh, Oh, sorry, Udino, not Davu. Did I say Davu? I can't remember now. Um, so it's Udino and Eugene and Davu and the Napoleonic Guard. So Napoleon, oh, we have some cavalry. What are they doing? Do they go for artillery? I'm not sure what these Chevaliers are doing. I don't know what Eugene's secret strategy is here, sending his cavalry in. Uh, but that's not going to do too hot. <laughs> But anyway, um, so <clears throat> definitely it's going to be a interesting fight here as uh, there will be the muddy fields being fought over, which if you look at the terrain, it is a little bit in favor of France, possibly, although it goes up as a slope. The artillery has a good angle here. They're going to push up here if you zoom in, but it's not the greatest angle. They do have a slope they can fire up to. But there's a lot of stuff in the way. And Russia over here has quite the hill advantage. And the Imperial Guard are the ones on this hill. Um, looks like we may have a, another Russian army taking the slope over here. Covering that flank for France. Um, or flank if France attacks. Artillery is already shelling, I do believe. There they are. It's like, we got some six-pounders way up here. Beautiful position, a little far back. But they can still, obviously, get some shots off. The horse artillery is set up right next to this wall. France can easily push some troops up on this wall. And like I said, use this town to kind of uh, save um, men from getting hit by artillery. <clears throat> Excuse me, guys. Sorry, I'm a little... Still recovering from being sick here, so... Okay, so Russia is charging in here for some reason. I'm not sure what their plan is for attacking the Grenadiers. Um, but it looks like they are going to run through the town here. They look like they have some bad morale here. And they're going to get hit by some Chevaliers. Seems like a waste of some Dragoons. But Russia is going in with the Imperial, with the uh, Guard. So they're going to go in and probably try to take out this LOC themselves. Wow. And uh, France needs to support this uh, defense here. Because uh, this Imperial Guard is definitely going to make things painful for them. 
I'm assuming they're going to charge the house. This is actually probably going to fail. There's there's supporting French infantry. Um, this may not be the greatest quality, but Udno has them strategically placed. Oh, wow. This house is getting just blasted. Of course, uh, these dragoons are going to retire here because they are going to get shot by some uh, squareables. Wow, look at that. They emptied some saddles. They're going to get out of there, though. Russia going for the house. They're pushing up some more infantry as a reserve to protect this flank because France is probably going to push up here and try to stop this. Now, it is Grenadiers versus um, the basic elite infantry. More French infantry now running in to kind of try to flank these guys. Um, Russia should bayonet charge this infantry. Because as you can see, wait, did they break them? Wow, those Grenadiers broke. They're routing already, but here we go. Russia is going to bayonet charge in, counter charge here. Stop France from taking this, and France really needs to fix this. This is bad. If they let if they let Russia take this town, they have a this foothold in this town. Oh, the they enemy. That is unfortunate, and they need to start really being aggressive here. Because Russia is doing very well, and their Imperial Guard are really kicking the French army's butt right now. <laughs> Look at them. They're clashing. Oh, he was pushing back. He's all right, fine. You can run away. <laughs> all right, so they take this LLC. Now it's France's turn to have to counterattack. Now they are pushing on the flank here. Unsurprised, Fran Russia should be advancing. They had a huge army right here. They should be advancing it down and hitting this flank, protecting the flank of the Imperial Guard. Is it Imperial Guard? Is that what it is? Is that what? Oh, okay. Anyway, we totally missed the side where Russia is squaring up against France here. So they are squaring up. The Imperial Guard is going to have to fight this flank. In fact, it looks like they are going to take it on and let Davu take the front. Um, but Russia seems to have a very good angle at this point in time. I mean, they have the French in a defensive fight right now. Always a better thing to get the army on defensive. Why is Russia not advancing here and cutting off a ton of Eugene's troops? Eugene should not be out here unless he has troops um, to defend his flank because Russia could easily just yeet all over this flank, destroy it. Now, Russia is holding this LOC. Udino has some beefy units, 235 man units, but they are taking some losses already. Now I'm assuming they're gonna pour in a volley here or not. His LLC probably screwing them up, to be honest. Oh, some cavalry charging in here. So Eugene sent his dragoons in, ran down one whole uh, line infantry and a cav. So it broke a lot before they um, fell back. It actually looks like Russia is not being aggressive enough to protect Russia's holds over here. Um, oh man, France is just getting toasted over here. This LLC really screws with your infantry. So what will happen is your infantry will just keep marching towards the uh, LLC and not shooting or anything. It, it, it really is something I wish they'd fix because it really makes holding an LLC, it'll break a battle. So I'm, I'm hopeful it's not going to break this battle. Now Russia is massing here and this is the point they would want to attack here. France needs to reform their line even if it means holding the line right here in a straight because they have this weird square we have a cab charge going against the russian flank um these guys probably don't form square or aren't gonna form square i don't like this russian this french formation i really don't this is a little better um we have a huge push Eugen going for the flank here going up against this hill hopefully russia notices this or has cab scouting this is why you need your cab for scouting always um france is oh. Oh. Our general is under uh, attack. What is France doing here? What is their play? I'm trying to figure out what they're what they're thinking here. Um, I would avoid this or get the Imperial Guard over here. The Imperial Guard would excel in this area. Udino would actually do very well with the massive beefy units here against uh, the Russians in a line fight. But we do have Davu holding in the orchard. Russia is massing up here to attack them with a lot of infantry, so outnumbering them in certain areas. See, France is just getting outgunned here. I don't, this flank may be a We've very- We've killed their generals, sir. What? Now they must break. Did artillery kill him? Oh, looks like artillery got the general. 
sniping a Russian general, that could easily change the tide of battle, especially if Pep's the Imperials or the elite guard of Russia. Now, Russia is putting a lot of pressure on this small flank. These guys have really good reloading accuracy. I'm not sure about charging uh, this elite unit, which obviously is not working well. Man, Russia is doing so well. And France is starting to crumble here. They need to get this army up and march it forward. Roll it right here and then push across. Um, I think they're trying to go for a high flank and push around, but they're taking too long, in my opinion. I think they're going to not have... They're gonna not, they need to be able to engage while this French army is still engaging. While Udino is still fighting, Eugene needs to get in position. And you can see Russia, um, thankfully for Russia, noticed this flank and they're pushing over. It looks like only four, so a small contingent... Oh no, they have more. Uh, maybe some artillery as well, hopefully. Or the whole freaking Russian army. There's a general shifting over here, so maybe Russia is really ready for this fight. But so far, I've seen Russia do very well. We have some cavalry charging in here, going against an artillery piece. So the Dragoons finally have made a good play here, and they're going to get themselves out of there without taking too many losses. Actually, man, they did not take very many losses at all. Can you imagine how smug they would feel riding away with barely taking a loss and taking care of artillery? So we do have Davu shifting more French infantry onto the flank here. They're probably gonna try to go around and try to peel this back one infantry at a time. They do have some reserves. I would spread those reserves around, put two maybe over here, two right here, uh, just to kind of spread them around to adjust in case you start losing troops because they are definitely taking some losses here. Um, Russia is pushing the French back, having still held onto this town, they are going to keep pushing uh, Udino back and Eugen. Now there is artillery for France, and France can use that artillery very well if they put it maybe right here and just fire onto the flank of Russia, they can start breaking a lot of really good quality Russian troops. Um, France is attacking this hill, held by the brave Russians, actually doing a very decent job. They are outnumbered right now. They don't have to win this, though. If they can hold this huge French force back, um, then let their Russian allies continue to push. They can crush Eugene and uh, Udino. Over here, it is still, it's still anyone's game. I think France is starting to... I see them using a lot of flanking attacks on both sides, something that Russia is not going to be able to do. Russia doesn't have as many troops, actually. Um, and they're having to readjust their line here as France is pushing up here, and France is going to get to volley them as they're marching across. Look at that, they're just shooting them as they're marching sideways. This is why you should pull them back and march them across and then push back up. Because um, you're giving them free kills. Ah, some howitzers now firing, but look at this huge flank here. Um, the Imperials could be really... Okay, the Imperials have a Grenadier here. Russia is starting to fall back here as um, France is making that flank. They have some of their light infantry on the flank here. They're going to pour in some bullets on Russia. Ooh, they're going to start killing them. They are just killing them. That's a very cool but very laggy picture. <laughs> just because it's probably the flames and everything else. But man, that looks beautiful. So Russia is falling back here. They are out blanked here. Um, we have a possible cav charge. Possibly. Rush is going to do very good right here. Just because of the angle here. Now the Imperial Guard will hold for a eternity. So maybe it's a good thing to have the Imperial Guard on this side because they can hold a very long time. They've fallen back too it looks like. Um, Russia does not like these odds here. They're falling back on this side. In fact, they're falling back all along the board. They're taking losses, so the battle was looking good for them at first. It's not looking so hot now. Um, even over here, Russia is taking some losses now. Oh, they are starting to break a little bit of this angle here. I don't know what quality of troop they have here, but this is probably a better one of their better units. And they are starting to really break the light infantry on this side. Oh, we have a bayonet charge. Who could win this? Light infantry <laughs> going against the Russians and breaking them. Um, look out for this flanking sh uh, flank, though. 
And we have some carabiners. Italian infantry also. We're going to start attacking. Oh, man. Actually, Russia's not looking too shabby. Okay, they just broke. Now things are not going to look too good. Oh, what a volley in the face of those Russians. So Russia is starting to break here on this flank. They're crumbling. I mean, this one infantry is taking on three. They need some cav support. If they had cav rushing over here with France having no cav whatsoever, I mean, France is breaking on this left flank, so it's kind of like becoming a seesaw, but I think Russia is breaking way faster than France is. Now, over here, it looks like uh, Russia is still holding. France still trying to push here. Um, Russia has fallen back. They really don't like this huge flank that Davu is making on them. They have artillery set up, can be very defensive. There's no real, there's no real cav. It looks like both sides went more heavy on the infantry side of things, uh, which is a little more surprising. We had to have some crossiers, some heavies, and uh, we got some chasseur cheval going in for the artillery piece. Can these crossiers of Russia? No, they're not going to make it. Oh, we have dragoons countercharging here, saving the guns, or not? They're going to push through them. Our men are running, sir. But they didn't make it. And now we have crossiers who are going to try to get themselves out of here. Oh, they should totally charge these guys. Oh, the Dragoons and then throw in crossiers as well. It's over. They have broken. They have broken even more French cav. Very unfortunate here. Now, there are more Russian infantry pushing up. Oh, beautiful. I love how this Russian player is working. Uh, they're actually adjusting when the battle calls for it. They've sent over their reserves. Um, this Russian army just needs to maybe continue to fall back. France is going to try to maybe break these four units before these other four show up because then, you know, it won't matter with reinforcements. Uh, France is going to start pushing this flank running, here. Uh, Russia still holds this town center. And this fight is constantly still raging one over the other. I love these long, long line fights. Um, where things don't all of a sudden just change out of nowhere. It's very, very awesome. Reserves for Davu now pushing up to fill the center that is starting to break. They keep throwing troops into this town and not being able to make much headway here. Um, but Eugene is making quite a push. I think they're going to be able to break those Russians. Uh, and they're starting to really, really break these regiments who are starting to break one after the other now some cavalry did charge in going against these light infantry cannot form square russian infantry pushing up as well so france is pretty badly bloodied uh the rest of these russian troops could honestly fall back now uh france is starting to take some losses this is concerning if he loses his whole flank this russian army will cave in on Eugene's remaining attack um, Uderno is still trying to take this, the Imperial, or the Elites, I don't know what you call them. Is this the Imperial? Imperial Guard? No, that's Russian, right? Is it just the Emperor's Guard? Whatever it is, they are rushing over to this side. I think they've realized this is a, an important flank here. Oh, there's the Howitzers that have done so much damage and will continue to. Uh, Russia shifting more reserves. Both sides seem to actually be doing a very good job of making sure that their lines don't break. They're adjusting reserves where they are needed. Um, yeah, I, I like this. I like this battle a lot. This is uh, some good play here. Dragoons have trapped a lot of Udino's infantry here and sent some, uh, looks like, yeah, just Dragoons. And look at that. They are going to break a huge unit. Maybe. Maybe. Oh, did they finally take it? They did take it, didn't they? They finally took the building back after a lot of bloodshed here. Although Russia is now going to send in some more of their guard units to take it back. So they're going to be in the center trying to hold it. Uh, over here, oh man, Eugene's not looking too good. Russia arrived with those reinforcements. They were originally winning and now they are taking some heavy losses here. Unfortunately, I think they're going to take... Uh, they're not going to win this fight. I don't think they're going to win this fight. Um, they have depleted units. And they've taken a lot of losses here. Russia just continually pushing here. 
And this guard, if they break this guard though, this could be a huge victory for them in the long run here. This fight has constantly been going. We have a cab charge. Looks like it went in for a square. Even though you form square, watch out for heavies. They can still wreck your day. I formed, I formed squares before and just watched heavies just plow my square to bits. I'm surprised they're keeping this heavy cap in the fight though. They should pull it back and use infantry with this. This is a very large unit of heavies. But still, they have actually managed to really uh, stop this flank of France. And this fight still raging. The Imperial Guard still holding strong. Russia, to their credit, has held very well against that Imperial Guard. Um, no, this attack is turning disastrous. And with the with the edge of the map so close, this, these units probably are going to run away before they make it. But the, the guard have been broken. Russian guard have broke in mass. Wow. They have finally broke them. They've taken this. Udino has still plenty of reserves. Davu has some reserves. So this could be a huge win, especially with Russia so far away. Um, this could be a huge victory because now they can push up here without worrying about a flanking. Now, of course, they have some artillery that could really put a dent in their attack. But I think they could easily start pushing on that flank. Over on this side, it looks like uh, Russia is still having some big problems here. This light infantry is going to do really well, but these are just so, such beefy units from Javu that they probably will be able to hold on long enough to actually make real damage here. And you can see Russia is taking some real losses here. Cumulatively against the Imperial Guard, you can't, uh, you can't hold forever against the Imperial Guard. Um, this artillery is going to try to do their best to drive back. Oh, man. Are they firing canister at them? Oh, we are back. It crashed. You know, can't have an entity be three battle without a crash. At least, you know, I can fast forward back to it. Unlike a real game, but we just crash and everybody would howl with anger and misery and then everybody would just leave. All right, where were we? Where were we? I think we were talking about, oh, yes. Uh, France charging these guns trying to finally get rid of these stinking 12 pounders they've been so probably sick of destroying their life here we have some cavalry that's probably gonna help them out i mean they're gonna try fighting even though they're watching like all the elite guard just run away over on this side russia is breaking um they've had enough they do not feel very confident they could actually take this we do have a cavalry charge again hitting a square once more Russia's going to probably put a lot of pressure with their infantry as well. Our men are running. Oh, sir. wow. They broke them even with a squareable. Now, of course, these guys can form square, but keep in mind, they are stuck in melee. So Russia is going to try to uh, really capitalize on this. They are really shooting their cab in the back. Uh, but Russia is at the same time going to push up here, try to uh, make a foothold where they have made a dent in the Russian line here. They are not doing too hot over here, but they finally broke those stinking... Crassiers. <laughs> on this side, Russia, it has a couple units. They're gonna try holding, but things are not looking too good. They are, oh man. They are, they are breaking. This battle was going so well for the longest time for them. But finally, Udrino's grinding has paid off and they finally will have enough um, troops here to actually make a dent. The rest of the Russians are Still pushing on what's left of Yuzhin. Um, could Hopefully they'll peel away at least a couple troops. Or just peel everything away and try to uh, deal with Udino. Before, you know, he does something disastrous. Over here, it looks like, oh, we have some cavalry. What are they, what are these guys doing? Davu has some lancers. Did he forget them? Are they in the back? They're going to push up here. This unit's probably too small to form square. So I would even bayonet charge or cap charge that. <laughs> but they are winning the long haul. Uh, there's a lot of reserves still here that are patching up this port. Um, I would hope that Russia had kept some of them in the back here. Because their units are not looking too hot, especially right here. I would order all these guys to focus on this one unit and just fire everything at it. Everything they got. Um, over here, it looks like France is going in for the LOC. Who are they fighting against? The regular line infantry. 
Oh, you hear the fire? House on fire, and they're fighting for it. That's a typical Total War scenario right there. Um, Russia is actually less troops now pushing up to the attack, so I think Yuzhin is feeling like he could take this fight, and he probably could. Uh, they've been retreating long enough. I, as Russia, I wouldn't even push here. Because if you lose here, they're going to push up. Just stay defensive. Uh, still, they are pushing up some of their units to help out here. They have lost LOC. Russia's going to have to fall back. Unfortunately, it looks like they've lost one half of the battle. Still haven't lost here, per se. Uh, but things are probably not looking too good. And you know there's reserves. Well, they don't know there's reserves. But there are some reserves. Dubu should push these guys up. Just push them up, throw them on this flank. Granted, there is a lot of artillery still on this hill. But there's no artillery right here. Push them up. Start swinging on this flank here. Just crush the Russians. And then on to, uh, what? Moscow. That's it. Almost said Berlin. On to Moscow. Is this picturesque? This is just a typical fight here. It's on a smaller scale, but the volleys back and forth. Men dropping. Um, over here, it looks like uh, Udino is not going to be too aggressive here. They're going to stay and hold this position. They have a forward guard uh, sitting up for Yuzhin. Over here, both sides are a little bit distant. We do have cavalry charging in here. Those Lancers going to charge the Russians that could not form square. Some of them could, so just, you know, be cautious. Don't be hasty. All right, well, they broke two, and they're probably going to break three because these poor guys are in square. And uh, Rush is going to start falling back. I'm surprised the Imperial Guard <laughs> is not attacking. Excuse me. Is not attacking here. Um... Then again, Russia is very strong here. Look at these fresh units they have pushed up here. Russia had quite the reserves. I'm surprised they're not trying to be more aggressive here. Because um, Davu is going to be able to push up and start attacking the flank. And they're not going to have enough troops here. Uh, over here, Eugen is almost dead. Uh, at this point, Russia is so far away. I would leave these French alone. And I would just push up with what remains of the Russian troops and try to retake this hill they need to hold this hill at all costs i'm surprised Dubu has not pushed up his reserves maybe he forgot about these reserves he could push them up and either uh have them hold behind the imperial guard give the imperial guard a break or you know just push up on this flank and just crush this russian army this is the strongest army probably right now is this russian army in the center may have the first volleys being exchanged once more. Talk about a bloodbath of a battle, though. Howitzers going in. Who are they going for? <clears throat> They're trying to go for this line, I think, but not going to do too hot. The madness you would have to have to be able to just sit and let yourself get shot by artillery is just, you know, beyond crazy. You're standing in a line. Now, we do have Russia um, shifting their troops over. This is a rather strong Russian army still. And I'm surprised they're not just going to ignore this French two regiments here uh, and just push over and deal with uh, the rest of Eugene's infantry rather depleted here. But Udino is now going to push up here. Take on the flank with some of their larger units. They are marching over a hill and seeing just a bloodbath. I mean, look what they would be seeing. 
That is quite the sight to uh, behold. And knowing the Russians are ready for them and waiting for them. They're defending this howitzer with their alive. Um, it looks like Russia did fall back here. They're going to use an artillery position. Beautiful position, by the way. Man, I am a sucker for a good position. You know, the way to my heart, get a good artillery position. Have a slight slope. Have that perfect angle. And set it up to drive the enemy back. They have set this up defensively in a perfect position to be able to push back any attacking French force. Oh, they're going for the general. So there's some gen sniping on both sides, which I'm not saying that in a bad way. It's not a bad thing. I don't do it. Just I'm too honorable for it. And I'm not saying that to uh, say people that gen snipe aren't. Um, I just, I, I don't know how I feel about it, to be honest. I'm also the guy in War Thunder who won't shoot you when you're going down. I guess I have a weird sense of honor in video games. <laughs> here we go. So Russia's getting bayonet charged here. And they are in a counter charge in suit. And uh, to hopefully drive back. Oh, they're driving back to Boo. Uh, but he's going to start pressuring even more. Udinos pushing up line infantry as well. Davu hopefully he's going to push up. He has some grenadiers here. Also, let's see what's happening over here. Oh my gosh. Yuzhin just got wrecked. Now, Udino has some troops with their artillery. Russia's kind of stuck All out in the open. Running, but man, they are not doing well. They are getting just repelled. Look at these bayonet charges. They're mad. Udino going trying to go in with the bayonet charge and it is not working too hot. Um oh man, Russia is doing so well, but with the Vu's reinforcements, hopefully they can make a dent in this line. Uh France is gonna go in here, try to break this Russian flank. But Russia is throwing even more troops into this fight. They know this is an all or nothing battle. Dabu, though, pushing up their reserves. Poor Russia. Unfortunately, they don't even know what's coming yet. These are hidden. They're going to march over this hill. And boom. Russia, exhausted as they are, have taken as many losses as they are. Going to get toasted. All um, men are running, sir. Still nothing on this side. It looks like both sides content to sit back and let artillery fire, let their infantry rest. We have some of the uh, guard pushing back across this road, gonna reinforce, do what they can. But yeah, imagine, imagine seeing this as Russia. I mean, you just defeated what you thought was the rest of the French and then a whole another French army just crests the hill. How disheartening would that actually be? I feel like that would be so, that would suck. Quite honestly, that would suck a lot. And there's four units versus eight or nine. Quite awful, quite very awful. Yeah, Russia should fall back here, try to retake this hill and help out because Davu is about to just show the true might of the Imperial Guard here. And this flank is about a cave. And you see Russia's already readjusting here. They realize their impending doom. Russia has two units here trying to hold out this flank. Um, they're going against some light infantry, so I can't say they're going to do too well. Oh, no, this is not light infantry. My apologies. Just some light infantry. Davu is everywhere. They're on the left flank. They're in the center. Are they in the center? No, they're on the left and right flank here. And they may be what's going to save the um, French from disaster. They're going in for a bayonet charge. I'm calling it now. You know they are. They have to. Russia is exhausted. They can't hold on. They are on their last breath. Still gorgeous, though. I mean, hold on, hold on. I gotta get a good picture of this. Look at that. It's just beautiful. You see units everywhere fighting. There's smoke everywhere as well. 
Uh, the artillery's getting out of there. Uh, Russia is going to try to get the rest of their troops up, but they're starting to really cave. Um, the Imperial Guard is going to push up on their own here. This could be a uh, disaster for the Imperial Guard. Yeah, they're they're getting toasted here. That, art that artillery on the hill is really doing well. Um, but the flank is breaking here. The man of the Russia has no troops restaurant. left. But look at the death and carnage. My gosh. All right, let's see what's happening over here. Yujin trying to attack uh, the remaining Russians that are over here that were victorious that are now marching back across. Udino still has some troops over here in this town. Um, the Imperial Guards still have grenadiers. So they are still holding. We have Russians attacking sappers um Dubu now though is going to advance um and help attack the flank of this russian line this fight has gone quite long and quite even i would say for the most part both sides have taken some pretty heavy losses um the imperial guard taking honestly what looks like besides udono napoleon's taken quite a lot of deaths He's still alive, though. Still alive, sitting back here, sending orderlies to the front. Sending troops up to the front to uh, tell them to stand firm or, you know, advance or whatever. But this... Hold on. I hear some... Uh... Oh, wow, look at this. Russia is gonna intercept or try to intercept. Running, oh, they took the house, didn't they? So, Russia could still win by LSC if they hold it for 26 minutes. They have some troops here. Uh, they only have the one-pointer and maybe the four-pointer. Who knows? <coughs> Excuse me. I'm sorry for coughing so much, guys. Uh, Russia is about to get just destroyed, unfortunately, just because Davu has so many reserves here. These infantry are about to get uh, flanked. They may have to shift back in order to actually have a fighting chance here. Because they're getting shot in the flank and not returning any fire. This general is trying to deal with this artillery piece. What a mad general he is. Udino, what are you doing? Uh, it's a Russian general countercharging him. I mean, the problem is Russia is... Oh, they just broke. General v. General. So Russia may lose their general here. Um, I think this is a losing fight here. Oh, the Imperial Guard's fallen back. They've ordered the fallback. They don't like these odds. He doesn't like wasting his Imperial Guard on nothing. Russia just... I swear, Russia keeps popping up with troops out of nowhere it feels like there's nothing there and all of a sudden there's tons i would be surprised if there's a whole stinking russian army sitting right here is this what it feels like sometimes um russia is gonna go and take on udino it looks like maybe to take this other loc they have to take this loc if they want to win i don't think they have enough troops to take it though they are highly or heavily depleted here uh the imperial guard i'm surprised they are well, no. So this is what I'm thinking the, the French are going to do. They're just going to fall back here, hold around the town, take the town, and uh, win by LOC and force the Russians to engage them. In Russia, it looks like they are going to lose whatever is left of their forces here. They are taking on sappers. Kill them. Ooh, they're getting some good kills, though. Oh, going to town. Ah, reinforcements have arrived. Poor Russians fought so well. All right, so Davu has plenty of forces here. He could definitely do this. I mean, there's three Russian regiments trying to hold against what? Oh, how many is this? This is 10? 11? 11 I think yeah 11 12 okay they they do not stand a chance 
Uh, Russia is winning somehow against Udino's troops. There must be something about Udino, like massive units, but terrible morale. I feel like that has to be a thing. Oh, what? All right, I think this ended up being a Russian-held um, building, and they just destroyed it and leveled it. It's a one-pointer, so that goes automatically to the coalition. So one point to the coalition. Uh, you can't take that back once you've destroyed it with the Russians in it. Um, but keep in mind, Russia still has to take these other LOCs if they want to hold, uh, if they want to hold this LOC advantage. See, there's more Russians sitting right here. There's even more Russians. Russia just pops out of nowhere. Now, Davu is going to just surround these four, four Russian regiments, um, and they're going to die on this, this hill. This building has fallen to the enemy. They took yet another building. Russia is just taking the buildings away. Oh, we have a bayonet charge here. Not sure what their plan is. They're just running away from these French troops. Uh, but the Imperial Guard are going to just hold the town. It looks like they are not going to fight this battle this losing battle um, another fight over here where poor Udino's sappers are just target practice for the Russians this is madness what are they doing they're gonna break for what all right well we all know What's it getting time we to? Uh, we have some Russians defending this LOC. Enemy general has been slain. And they captured this LOC back from Russia. After, I mean, look at the bodies. This has to be one of the hardest fought LOCs. I mean, I know there's tons of them. I know there's tons of them. Uh, oh, Russia took it back once again. Russia doesn't have enough troops, though, I don't think, to take all these LOCs and hold. Um, I think France is going to win by LOC victory. Um, you can see they did a bayonet charge here with their Grenadiers. Driving back the Russians. Oh, whoa. <laughs> I just saw him get whacked in the face. The men are fatigued, sir. I must rest a while. Oh, what a save. Oh, those poor Grens broke. And here come Russian reinforcements. Davu looks like he doesn't want to fall back to the Imperial Guard. Like, it's like Napoleon's like, hey, fall back, fall back to the town. And he's like, no, sir, I am standing my ground. Like, he probably wants to fight. He wants a fight. And if the Imperial Guard joined him, they would be victors. But right now, Russia is advancing. They still have 20 minutes. Um, and Davu has... Davu's the only one fighting, it looks like, right now. Uh, the Imperial Guard are sending some of the troops over. I I hope to help Davu's army. Um, there's no real threat from Russia, I would say, over here. And it looks like Udino has it locked down with what troops they have left. They have some Grenadiers. Um, line infantry from Yuzhin as well. So, you know, send the Imperial Guard over here for crying out loud. Help out against this Russian fight. Russia's going to have to accept they're going to lose unless they attack. Which they are doing. But it's a retreating... It's a slow fight. I mean, Davu is just playing it for the long game. They have two units keeping back five. They keep falling back, doing some volleys, forcing them to stop, exchange volleys. At this rate, they're going to delay them all the way to the end of the game, and artillery is coming over to help. You want to talk about a game changer, though? What do we have here? Oh, well, the guard doesn't have a general. They probably are exhausted. Um, and this is some trilliers, so these guys are gonna do well, and they're getting some action. Imagine having the boring job of being stuck at an LLC, and you know you're not gonna fight, but then you get to fight a little bit. You know, you see some enemy, you take some shots at them, and they run away. And you're like, yay, you know, we get a medal now. <laughs> I 
Looks like Davu is going to form up with the Imperial Guard, and they're going to fight the remainder of the Russian army here. Realistically, this is where Russia would fall back and chalk it up to a defeat, be it they uh, really stuck it to the Russian or the French. I mean, they this this would be like a uh, Borodino both sides. I mean, now nah, I mean, France has won this. They've won the field. They forced the Russians back, but it's a bloody fight. Rather bloody. Right, I may fast forward a little bit here because uh, no one's really doing anything. Russia looks like they're going to fall back to the four-pointer. Um, the Imperial Guard or the elite Russian guard is oh they could send these to do could send these troops over here to stop them um yeah Russia is gonna not fight it looks like they're gonna just march backwards I would just stand and fight I mean if you've lost you've lost why delay it you know just stand with honor and die to the last last man or last regiment as it were this mud is going to make it very rough for them to advance, as you can see. Uh, they're, but they're going to get themselves into the green grass. Too bad they didn't have a howitzer still. Oh man, these guys. These Cossack militia, basically, are really sticking it to Davu's infantry. And they're going to break, especially once these guys fire. But they saved the rest of the Russian army. Not sure what they are doing here. It's a parade. They want uh, they want Napoleon to come and thank them for their service. I mean, they took heavy losses here. Napoleon's gonna come and give them a speech. <laughs> There's a guy running. They're like, friend, the battle has been won. Why are you running to? He's like, screw you guys, I'm going to Paris. I need my croissant. Or whatever, you know. French soldiers ate <laughs> time. Look at these guys. There's 70 left. Oh, 24 left. Man. They took such heavy losses. I know, I'm not paying attention to the fight anymore. But, man, this... this These guys deserve a little debut. They they held for a very long time. Look at their shoes. They, they have clean uniforms. Inspection time, you know. Man, they have... They all got no blood on their uniform, no mud, even though they were in the mud. Their shoes are clean. Okay, I hear some shooting. Yabu's gonna have his fun here, pursuing the Russian army. Uh, there's a small Russian force here. Yabu's gonna attack. Uh, this may come down to the time limit here. I'm not sure if Russia's just playing a long game. Oh, they're gonna go for this artillery. Ooh, let's see this artillery get some kills. Oh, ho, ho, ho. they're firing canister at him. <clears throat> Let's see if they can reload in time. This is gonna be fast. You can do it. I believe in you. Well, the Russians are so close. And the general. Fire. <laughs> fire. <laughs> oh, they're not gonna get to fire in time. Sad. And they broke him. The general gets a medal. Now he can go home. Yep, so there's that fight and that fight. Oh, yeah, look at the Imperial Guard. I'm not sure what they're doing here, but they did like a whole stretched out line here with their infantry. It's kind of funny. Uh, here we go. Russia's going to break here. I like how they're making the stand on the hill. I mean... Oh, it's a last desperate stand. Imagine how how awful it would feel to be this Russian army. You fought so long, and now you're desperately holding on for who knows what. You know. Shell shock sets in. And you're like, what are, what are we here for? Bullets flying around. You see your... 
comrades that you drink vodka with falling one after the other and you're questioning your whole life oh a general a general duel who will win France usually always we wins the general, the general duels. Now they I'm not sure play. why, but they always do. And they broke the Russians. So there's one fight left <clears throat> with a rather strong Russian army here. How? How did they have so many troops left? You see what I'm saying, guys? Russia was just everywhere. Yeah, this is a four point here. It's going to come down to the time limit. There's no way that um, Russia's going to. That France is going to kill Russia in eight minutes. I've had a battle that went to the time limit in a little bit, so... It's a nice change of pace, I guess you would say. I'm going to fast forward here. A general charging in here. Generals have been doing a lot of heroics these days. We have killed their generals, sir. Now they must break. I'm surprised his cavalry didn't. Oh, this is artillery. Not sure what their plan was. Poor cab. Or poor horses. But somehow they got away. You guys saw that. He stomped on him and then stabbed him even when he was down. Like, good grief. Overkill. Overkill. Oh, what in the heck? There's even more Russians. Oh, they're going for the other four pointer. Okay, you don't have to. Nah, you're not going to make it in time. If Russia had wanted to do that, they should have done that way earlier. But they had so many troops left. I don't know where their troops were. They just. Wrong place. That's literally what it was, I feel like. Russia had tons of forces, um, but it felt like they were always in the wrong place. <clears throat> they had a whole bunch of troops here, a whole bunch right here. They didn't have enough scouting capabilities, it felt like. If they had been able to scout, they probably would have seen where um, the you know French armies were. If they'd had all these troops right here on this side for when that flank hit, when Davu pushed and they had held that, the Imperial Guard could not have held. They could have been pushed into the town um, but they just were in the wrong place. Now, with only three minutes remaining, these Russians will barely make it there in time. I don't think they're going to make it there in time. I mean, the clock's ticking. Yeah, they're they're not going to make it. It'll be close. But if they took this four-pointer, they would win by LOC victory within minutes. Like, they would snatch victory. Uh, if they march in the forest, then they're definitely going to not make it there in time. I mean, they they have a minute and 50 seconds to take an LOC, and they're marching to the forest. That's going to slow them down. Yeah, they're, they're not going to make it. There's no way. And so the battle will end. Um, yeah, you guys can tell me what you think about how they both played or what the mistakes that were made, maybe. And it's always easier to analyze battle afterwards when you're playing it. It's... I'm say, well, basically what I'm trying to say is I'm not trying to, in any of these fights, judge players for mistakes made or not and say that they're a terrible player because I make stupid mistakes. Um, if anything, I'm just, you know, shooting the shooting the wagon, I guess, in a way. I'm just, I'm just theorizing and trying to uh, talk over what could have gone better, what could have not. Um, no disrespect to any of the players playing. I hope that's a given that people would know that. Um, nothing but respect for anyone that plays this game, unless, of course, you exploit the game, in which case, you know, you're dead to me. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, but anyway, uh, like I said, this this fight was sent in 
Um, I do believe it was sent in by the player for Davu, which is Uncle Larry. So thank you for that replay. Um, posted in the Lords, uh, and you can see the kills. <clears throat> Very good kills by the infantry. Not a lot of cav in this fight at all. Um, I see, let's see the kinds of units here. Yeah, a Lancer and a Chasseur Cheval. That's all I see the cat for Cav. <clears throat> so um, this is definitely an infantry heavy fight, and <clears throat> that's why you need Cav. Now, it, th these were cores, so who actually knows how much Cav they actually could bring because cores kind of subject you to a certain limited amount of Cav. I'm rambling a little bit at this point, but um, let's see the kills here. You have 16, 7, 7, and 11. 11, 1, or 10, 8, and 8. So, you know, the kills actually were pretty even. In fact... Russia got some more kills overall as a team um, versus looks like Davu at the very end got a lot. But I mean, 14 pointer, you know, that's always going to be someone who should be getting a lot more kills. Um, the losses were pretty dead even, I would say. But yeah, a very good battle. I enjoyed that one. So uh, I hope you guys did as well. Uh, that'll be it for me today, guys. Thank you so much for joining me. You guys have a great rest of your day. Stay safe, and I will catch you all in another video.